Hi everybody, welcome to today's transmission, which is a twin flame update. First up, I'm just going to share with you this plant <laughs> that you can see here. If you've been following before, you will have been aware of the unity tree and how the light codes in that caused a peace lily to grow into a peace and love lily with a heart shaped petals. This plan, I put it where the peace and love lily was. It's a different lily. And it has grown two individual flowers that are growing towards each other. And it just happened that I have some little bird watering uh, sticks that you put in and it, you fill it with water and it waters the plant. And I'd put that in the one next to it and it looks to me like the hummingbird connecting to the flower. So I can see um, the messages being fed back to me and how those light codes are really working uh, to create changes in the real world. Just wanted to start off with that. So I'm going to now just talk about some more changes that I'm seeing on the energetic and how they... Uh, playing out in the real world, in day-to-day -day living, and uh, some of that will be a journey through my artworks as well. And then we've got uh, reading with oracle cards and a channeled message and some channeled healing. So here we go. So there is so much happening in the energetics of the twin flame dynamics at the moment. I've been given the directive <laughs> to do a lot of extra twin flame transmissions from September to December this year as part of this rapid ascension shift where the twin flames unity really comes into play really need to be working together in our missions uh, for this next phase so I feel there's going to be a lot of more conscious awakenings and consciously coming together and working on mission between now and December and then into the early new year. So what's been going on energetically? Where we left off last time, I talked about the geometry that Marlene, uh, links down below, has brought in. She channeled in. And in the last Twin Flame Alignment Workshop, that geometry was under our feet and we felt an activation also of the crown chakra. So that geometry was moving from the three energy that we were talking about, that masculine, feminine and divine, the trinity, uh, so the unity at, at the top and the masculine, feminine at each side, um, pulling that in to the grounded structure, which is the four, which is the square, which is the foundation. So it's really bringing the energetic side that the divine feminine or the energetic twin has been working on really into the day-to-day -day reality, um, grounding it here into the earth, into the earth grids and powering the ascension. Um, I also was talking about how I felt we've been in a buffer zone and that the angels have created it's like a protective zone uh, whilst everything's being cleared and cleansed so from that point um, some of you may have been journeying with me since April or May through the bite-sized messages which are all about moving us through this rapid phase of ascension and supporting us through that and I'm currently making those into um, light language cards so I've channeled images in um, I've channeled the light language and the messages in and the just reading the words on the card as well as looking at the image and then you can scan a QR code to receive the light language uh, each of those phases all have energy associated with them and I have been working uh, through those over the last 48 hours one by one to get them all transcribed into the cards and 
it has been so activating and I've come to understand how important it is that they, you go through them from the beginning to the end of the sequence of ascension and then once they're grounded you can choose them as they come up and I've been very highly activated listening to 44 of them over the 48 hour period really really grounding those energies that came through those transmissions and images and in terms of twin flames I highly recommend redoing Yeliel, which is I think number 14 and Sandalphon which is I think number 18 in the bite size messages Yeliel really clears out all of those suppressed emotions uh, those unconscious traumas that are at the foundation of your decisions and your actions and affecting your life negatively um, causing you to not move forward and holding you back being like and the sandal fawn really when I was re-listening to that one I got very activated by being so fully reconnected with my twin flame he speaks about the role of the twin flames in the ascension and sandalfon has been the angel that's worked been working a lot with me around the twin flame unity and uh, so as that happened I just felt this connection through our hearts where our unified heart where everything that I've been working on was delivered to him in light codes and everything he's been working on was delivered in to me in light codes and I'm seeing it as an infinity sign and as that happened uh, I felt very different the priorities of my life felt different uh, as there was that exchange of what we've been individually doing in our lives that enhances and supports the whole that supports the unity um, with that there can be triggers as well uh, as it clears out those unconscious traumas that are sitting there from the soul level from the karmic level from the ancestral level or even just programming experiences so the energy work I've been doing through the artwork has been very much around clearing mother wounds and early childhood wounds uh, separation separation from family or mother at an early age too early um, not being supported uh, those kind of energies have been coming through those are in these three hearts here which are light language energized heart coasters um, which I used to charge up food and drink and things like that um, with those codes so that I can drink them in so they're bringing the energies here into this transmission and I feel very much both the masculine and feminine but especially uh, the masculine counterpart working through those mother wounds there's mother issues separation issues that affect therefore how he relates to all feminines and to his feminine counterpart so from there I want to refer to something that I learned about through I'm pretty sure it was Marla Kelly from Twin Astrology when she was talking about the um, Atlantis trauma so I've been working a lot with Atlantis for the last 20 years and I feel the trauma there around the jaw and the atlas bone which is the bone that connects the base of your skull with the top of your neck and this and and right down to kind of the top of the sternum and the jaw so this is where I have felt a lot of Atlantis trauma because Atlantis was where we were in 5d and we fell to 4d and down into 3d uh, through an over emphasis on the masculine on uh, all these amazing technological advances uh, advances through the mind 
and the consciousness uh, creating things from mind and intelligence and magic as such and uh, higher technologies, energy technologies, but without the heart in it. And this is the point where the twin flames were already in unity and they separated out. And one of the main points of separation was where um, it's like the Garden of Eden, which is the same story. We fell from heaven to earth as such. And that was in a desire for knowledge and that came through the feminine side, wasn't it? Eve ate the apple. Um, she wanted knowledge and to get knowledge we had to drop down into the third dimensional reality dropping into third dimensional reality is um, is a different kind of schooling and learning for our soul it's something that we want to do it's not a bad thing um, but there was like blame and shame through history on the feminine for wanting to explore drop out of 5d and explore uh, this dimension so the atlantis is the masculine shame around that that the masculine fault the masculine wanting to explore what he can do on his own in duality what we're talking about is unity dropping into duality and what marla was talking about was how that's where the twin flames separated out in terms of the masculine wanting to go out and adventure and that was particularly to explore other women that are not an expression of himself like his twin is um, and that's how he dropped into and separated out from the feminine within himself and explored the feminine outside of himself and that ultimately separated the twins so in both cases, the fall from the Garden of Eden and the fall from Atlantis, from Golden Atlantis, was the either the masculine or the feminine wanting to taste forbidden fruit. And in my most recent Twin Flame transmission, I had that channel come through from the Divine Masculine Collective about how he needs to taste that forbidden fruit and that's what we were working through we're working through also the flip side of that on how that then uh, takes the feminine down into her need for that security and protection that is traditionally provided by being in partnership with a with a masculine and what i want to talk about here and what's been coming up recently through this exploration of these un conscious emotions that are coming up from other lifetimes other dimensions other um ancestral patternings things like that is for the feminine where does that leave her the feminine counterpart is that she's the energetic twin so she is what well, not in all cases but in most cases it's the feminine that's really connected to that unity whereas the masculine um still contains those codes of forget forgetting so the feminine is in more remembrance of the unity um, from my understanding and what i've experienced through the twin flames i've come in contact with than the masculine and the masculine twin tends to be in less remembrance of the unity and less access to that unity than the feminine or the energetic twin and we can call them the energetic twin and the physical twin so the the masculine his main role the masculine energy is in the physical realms and really learning about all of that and we don't want to see that as a negative that's a positive he's doing an important role there so and that potentially um it's different in every connection but that potentially means exploring other feminines that are not his his twin and how that reflects back and working through and transmuting via his connection with the feminine uh, those lower level relationships with feminine and all those perceptions and traumas that that have been built up in those male female relationships down at the lower levels so the feminine is working that a lot more through the higher levels and the masculine is working that a lot more through the through the lower levels 
at their denser levels and that's a big job for a very sensitive being so I want to acknowledge that where does this leave the feminine this leaves the feminine in the trauma and grief of separation and why am I here in this plane coming from her human consciousness and what she's trying to shift through right if it's not to be with me twin why are we both here in this time in this place and you may even be in a relationship with your twin um, or married to them but still feeling that separation and that I have traced at this phase to that Atlantis trauma and I'm feeling it very much at that atlas bone in the jaw so through those bite size messages, uh, quite a few of them are clearing that jaw and atlas area. And this is also the communication area, isn't it? This is where we we speak. It's joined our head, which is our direction and our vision. Um, with our throat which is our expression and our physical body which is where we actually take action in the world so so what i'm seeing now is there's this black horse that i created i think i spoke about them in a recent transmission um and that was the arrival of everything that was missing so if you're feeling separation it's the arrival of unity and if you're feeling a lack of resources that's the arrival of the abundant resources those kind of things um, and that is also the divine counterpart of the white horse which is the one that's come in and cleared all that negativity on the ground um, so I've been speaking also about the feminine energy clearing space for the masculine to arrive. So I can see this like the white horse and the black horse. And um, then we saw that symbol that Marlene channeled in, which was the indication from the feminine to the masculine. Okay, the coast is clear. Um, you can come in and we'd seen the masculine waiting at the boundary fence for that signal. And then we saw that signal at the last Twin Flame Alignment Workshop. So what I've been seeing is, as all that's been working through, one of the ways the feminine's been clearing space has been really clearing out all of those hurts and pains and misconceptions, um, abandonment issues, issues with their own feminine uh, via their mother wound, and any issues they've got with their mother. These are just some examples. So that's what we've been working through. And what i felt this morning as i tuned into that feminine wound of why are we not spending time together doing this together why are we on this planet if we're not doing that um that feeling and i can feel this now in my soul seat which is where we hold our desire to fulfill our life's purpose um, which is in that chest area that I said was also connected to Atlantis, the Atlantis wound. Um, the Atlantis wound, I can also feel connected to the upper body bracing. So we've still been working through that upper body bracing for the destruction, for the downfall, for the failure, for that which we've been working on to not work um, and for our masculine um, or our feminine in, in any in, in both respects to um, show up and disappear they're, they're to look like it's going to work and then they evaporate right I've let, literally had things like that in my physical world uh, I've been working on a goal I've got it I've got the goal I've got the congratulations email you've made it and then the actual thing that it opened up vanished so I reached the goal, but I didn't get the prize, right? So these are the things, these are the issues we're working on, 
This is what we need to clear out for unity to happen. These are the things we're clearing out on the ground through all of those levels of unconsciousness. They're coming up to consciousness to clear out. Um, communication or connection with your twin or even um, what you feel them doing on the 5D that you're not conscious of. All these things can be triggers to help you clear through those things that are coming up in yourself. So be conscious of that. So as I connected to that, what happened was light codes came in and I felt a healing through the spine, the atlas bone, the jaw and the crown as the masculine collective felt and understood that genuine pain of separation that the feminine has been experiencing through having connected to the unity so she's so connected to the unity that the separation feels amplified the pain of separation feels amplified because she is connected to the unity so she really feels the polarity of that um, with the masculine being um, connected mostly through the feminine at a certain stage of the twin flame journey to that unity um, through the heart he, he doesn't necessarily feel the separation in the same way where it's a daily part of his life um, as I under as I understand it, I'm sure there are masculines who do those who uh, d um, identify as the masculine counterpart. Um, but you know there are levels of that, and what I'm saying is the energetic twin is much more connected to that than the physical twin. So as um, the physical twin feels the pain of that separation via connecting to the unity and what i've seen is they need that there's a shift now from the physical twin accessing the unity through contact or presence or connection to the energetic twin and more through direct contact with the third energy and the unity consciousness so the the third energy the the unified consciousness of the twins if you move higher up the ray before individuation into separate bodies so as they make that direct connection to that at another level we're talking about different levels here we're always connected to that and less through their interactions with the energetic twin or the feminine in you know um, bursts of coming and going coming getting a hit working that through their life coming back getting a hit working that through their life etc and it's more of a direct constant connection to the unity that is where this geometry where the three moves into the four under our feet as channeled by Marlene moves from that activation of the crown chakra and becomes connects all the way up through our bodies into the heavens to the highest connection of unity and it forms a beam of light like a beacon and this is what I saw so um, and I felt this as the twins unified, that moving through them, as the masculine had become conscious of that unity. He anchored in unity with his feminine, so the physical and the energetic twins. This geometry, which was the key or the beacon, and blasted it, amplified it, like a massive speaker on a massive um, 
screen in the sky. Here's the signal. Here's the signal to come into union. And this signal shared those light codes with all of the Twin Flame Collective. And that's what I want to share with you today. So that's uh, what has happened this morning. I'm just moving the codes through. Ayatia koya 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 koya. And so I have a spread here of a few cards. So we'll bring through some light language, some messages directly from the guides around this. And I want to say also that I've been moving through a lot of technological issues on the ground um, and really clearing up all of those uh, cogs in the machinery at a ground level, which is, you know, what the physical twin is doing as well, right? So, so both twins are doing that there. The physical twin is connecting more with that energetic side and the energetic twin is connecting more with the more structural, physical levels of functioning, cleaning up everything that works efficiently, um, really making this connection, uh, the energetic through to the physical, the feminine counterpart and the masculine counterpart as a really well-oiled machine that spirit can flow through effortlessly and cleanly so the first card um, and this is the one that has had my attention most of the way through that explanation is a vibration this is a from the Twin Flame deck by Ernest and Henry and it's the Master Key, Master Heart Key 3 vibration. The longing you feel is when our hearts whisper to each other. I'm always with you as we share the same purple flame. Feel our twin vibration surrounding your heart and soul. This is a deeper way to experience each other's energy when we are apart. And I feel like I can't read that without reading the one next to it which is twin flame 46 eyes of the soul we've been through many lifetimes and have finally found each other everything is predestined for each soul's divine purpose take note of the many messages and signs that will come your way answers you seek can be found in these signs so at the base of those two, and again, I feel like I can't read these separately. It might be, it looks like the first one, the vibration one, uh, Master Heart Key, is connected to the feminine and that the eyes of the soul is connected to the masculine. I do really feel like the masculine is starting to see through the eyes of his soul uh, more consciously. Always felt that they're, that they're following the divine plan but, but almost blinded. Uh, more blinded than the feminine who's more connected to the vision of what's going on and when I say masculine feminine feminine I mean the physical twin and the energetic twin so the physical twin um, is getting his eyes of the soul activated guardian of the gates of the east wind awakens love enlightenment brings joy identifies fears listens attentively he's listening to what he's seeing, what he's feeling at the energetic levels now. He's more conscious of it. Those blinkers have been taken off. It, it, it's, it's like probably not going to be sudden. It's probably going to be quite slow revealing and, and realizing. I will help awaken the three ascension attitudes within you, love, gratitude, and surrender. Ayatia koya kaya kia taya kaya kaya kaya. And then we've got Shamuel as the energetic twin side, angel of divine partnerships, divine love, twin flames, peace, union, unconditional love, mission and harmony. I help open the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. And raise your frequency to that of divine union with your beloved other. Perfect timing, trust. Ayatia koya 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 kaya tia kaya 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 kaya. Ayatia kaya koya 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 
akaya ya 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 akaya ya ya so shamuel's connecting to that longing and how it is the connection between the hearts that creates that longing um, that heart that knows the unity and wants to see that in the physical reality wants to physically be in that unity akatia ya 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 and for that the, the physical twin is uh, elevating to love gratitude and surrender there's a big surrender there because it's a lot to give up control especially if you're the physical twin because in the third dimensional reality it, it is very much an emphasis on the, the mind and the logic and the strategy and the structure um, about being an individual because we're in duality um, and to not have control over what happens in that system it feels disempowering to the mind and the ego if that's what you're used to functioning within it's hard to let go and trust the heart and the spirit for so many reasons so that's what they're going through right now the physical twin okay so on either side we've got the support of ambriel patron of psychics and students aha moment clarity protection curiosity communication I clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit. Stay positive. So bring in that clarity, that vision, that understanding and the ability to express that. Uh, I feel that's also bringing communication between the twins. And on the other side, supporting is another twin flame card. Sunrises and sunsets. It was here that you woke me up. I found you and my truth in the sunrises and sunsets of each day. The answers we often seek lie in front of us, within the beauty of our heart and nature that unfold before us. Ayatia koya koya koya. I'm really feeling that connected to the eyes of the soul. So sunrises and sunsets is looking into the horizon, it's looking into the sky, it's looking into the bigger picture, the greatness, how we're all connected, how we are humble underneath the vastness of everything. And as we connect to that, we find our place in that. So then I'm seeing that connected to the enlightenment card and brings joy, listens attentively. So listening at a higher level, seeing a bigger picture, listening to the bigger picture, understanding how it all fits together and getting that inflow of higher love and purpose that is connected to the greater movement of the universe. So I feel very much like Ambrio is connected to that uh, energetic twin supporting there. And um, I feel the divine masculine. I feel the Christ energy coming in and supporting there through that sunrises and sunsets, um, the physical twin, the divine masculine, really helping that divine masculine aspect embody and push out all of the wounded masculine aspects in both twins okay let's just see if there is a channeled message that wants to come through just to conclude i feel to call potentially on sandalphon but um ambriel shamuel hadriel as well and any other ascended masters, angels, star beings that are assisting in this process. There is never a moment that you are truly alone. And this is something that has been less evident for the physical twin. In times of trouble, 
there has been less support that they have been consciously able to connect to. Ayatia koya kaya kaya kaya. Though they feel the energetic twin through their being, and there is some level of consciousness around the support that comes from their twin, Ayatia koya kaya 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 kia toya yo 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 yo. There has been a disparity in levels of access to that support. Ayatia koya 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 koya. This has created a level of endurance and resilience in the physical planes, coming from discipline, control, searching through conscious and mental control and mastery, mastery over the mental and practical levels, akatia koya kaya 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 kaya, including a suppression of the feelings. Katia kaya 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 kuyu ko, even to the extent of a disregard of the feeling nature and sensitivity of being a sensitive being in a physical world. Ayatia kaya 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 kuyu 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 kuyu. We bring now the positive energies of hope, of success, of attainment. And of satisfaction and fulfillment in the mental and emotional aspects of living in the physical world. Ayatia kuya kaya 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 tia kuya kaya kaya. Ayatia kuya kaya 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 kuya to yo yo yo. Ayakuya tia kuya kaya kia kaya kia kuya kaya tia kaya ko. Ayakaya tia koya kaya tia koya ko. Ayatia koya kaya 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 kaya. Shakaya kaya kaya kaya. So I'm feeling a big activation of the crown, the throat, and the belly. Ayakaya kaya 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 kaya. So grounding of light clothes and activation of the heart. Ayakaya kaya 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 kaya. Blessings and much love to you. Ooh, I can feel those grounding through uh, the the Earth Star Chakra, and some chakras even deeper below those. I can feel the Soul Star also activated, as well as chakras well above those. So I would suggest that that will take some time to move through. Um, and to really anchor through your energy fields and through your lives. And what I have to support you um, through this fast ascension process over the next four months till December, I've been told to do these twin flame bites. So they're similar to the um, bite sized messages I've been doing on Heart of Gold. Um, these are over on my other channel. I'll put the playlist in the end screen. Um, I've got two there already. There's going to be 55. So that's going to be about two or three a week. They won't be consistently. They'll be whenever they're guided. Um, but I've been asked to do these. They will be created in the cards as well, like the bite size messages have. And um, they're to support this unifying of twins over this period. And the rapid ascension process that we're going through. If you're interested in the um, cards for the bite size messages, they're going to be available in a few weeks. Uh, on my new website, there is 
a waiting list if you want to be informed when they're ready um yeah so that's it hope that is helpful uh, take care see you next time